Stuck in limbo, it's a situation that many migrants at the southern border are facing, blocked from entering the U.S. and afraid to turn back around. They aren't on U.S. soil, so Border Patrol won't pick them up. But cartels and other dangers are waiting for them if they turn around. News Nation correspondent Jorge Ventura is at the border in Eagle Pass, Texas, with an exclusive look at a group of migrants who have been without food and water for days. I'm standing on the banks of the Rio Grande here on the U.S.-Mexico border in Eagle Pass. This is one day after Governor DeSantis visited Texas to introduce his new policy plan. What we're looking at here is a group of migrants on the banks who have not been able to make access into Eagle Pass by the razor wire put by Texas DPS. We've been speaking with the migrants here who have been telling us that they've gone now three days without food and that most majority here are from Venezuela. You guys could also hear kids crying. We have, we have some kids here uh, playing in the water. And this is the reality here in in Eagle Pass. Now, while crossings have dipped in other sectors, officials tell us that they have not seen that here, that groups are continuing to make their way here into Eagle Pass. Majority of these migrants coming from Venezuela, they, uh, some of the migrants are actually telling us that smugglers on the Mexican side have threatened them, have stolen their money. Um, some, one man actually mentioned to me that his, his son was actually taken from him from one of the smugglers and he had to pay for that release. But these migrants here have been telling us that they have no food or water and they've been living here on the banks for three days and that they want to enter the U.S. Now, Texas DPS have put these razor wire barriers miles long down the border to deter migrants from stepping on Eagle Pass land. As soon as those migrants make it on American soil, they must be apprehended by Border Patrol. But this is what Governor DeSantis was referring to, that he would introduce major policy legislations uh, to deter immigration. One of those major ones would be the catch and release. Under Biden right now, if these migrants do make it on American soil, the majority will be released in the U.S. with a future court date. That would stop with Governor Governor DeSantis, if elected, but want to give everyone just a, one more look here of the reality here in Eagle Pass. And these crossings have been constant from the day and night are just continuing to come in through that Rio Grande River, which is extremely dangerous with a strong uh, current here. Uh, last year, officials were telling us that there was a point when they were averaging a drowning a day here of migrants here in the Rio Grande. So it's extremely dangerous crossing point. But as you guys see, families, kids continuing to come into the United, uh, the United States or attempting to come inside the United States. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.